Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Grab a snack and a beverage, I got a story for you. Fishy folks, welcome back. The story is kind of simple. I haven't posted in about three weeks, and for the multitude of people that I reached out via social media or email, uh, I really appreciate the concern. I'm fine. I just, you know, life is going on. Uh, blatantly honest, as always, I have a new friend that I've been spending quite a bit of time with on the weekends, and uh, I don't feel like making videos. I just don't. But uh, I do have an important update about Michael's fish room and the fish room itself. I will be shutting down the fish room probably in the next few weeks, at least for a little while until I complete my move to my new house. Uh, I had an offer that was accepted yesterday. If you guys have ever bought a house, that all that means is they've agreed to the price I want to pay, but there's a bunch of things that have to happen between now and closing. Assuming all that goes well, hopefully I'll be in my uh, my new house the beginning of October. Um, that said, what does closing the fish room down mean? First and foremost, it means nothing's going on sale. That's not how I roll. I'm gonna continue to sell until I can't sell anymore, and then almost everything most likely will go into a mutt tank, and that'll be the first tank I set up in the new place. Uh, I'm gonna grab the camera and do a quick tour of some things and some ideas for you just so you know, but um, Ultimately, it's just life gets in the way sometimes and and you know If you don't know if you haven't watched me in a while or this is the first video you're watching I am getting a divorce after 27 years of marriage right now. It's amicable and we'll see how it goes. So all right Let me show you what I want to do in parts in the fish room stand by Okay, as always, the fish room is in a little bit of a disarray. It's quite bad because I really haven't done anything. I have a water leak from there that I haven't fixed, and there's still a water leak from somewhere back there uh, from the auto water change system, which I haven't fixed yet. But um, as you guys know, if you watch some of my live streams, I cough quite a bit, and there is black mold down here. Uh, you can see it all over that uh, two by four from the water leak that was there. So the first idea is uh, I'm going to be taking all these tanks down, and actually probably all these, and just leaving the 90-gallon uh, mutt guppy tank. Uh, the way I designed my rack system, uh, which I just stole from Corey from Aquarium Co-op, uh, it's modular. Modular. That's modular if you're paying attention. So I can I can actually take all this wood that might have mold on it and get rid of it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're starting to empty the tanks. Uh, I have a bunch of empty tanks on this side that I'm going to be um, putting everything that's on this side onto this side. And as I sell out of streams, I'm not buying nothing. I'm not buying anything new right now. Uh, I'm simply maintaining what I have. I do have quite a bit of quarries. Um, if you're interested in quarries, check out michaelsfishroom.com. I have probably 10 different varieties. Um, from long fin to regular common stuff to something that's not so common. Nothing super rare, but just in general, a bunch of different stuff. Um, I don't know if I ever filmed this, but these German platinums, we had a female jump into this tank and drop fry, which I'm happy for because all the fry survived. Like she's the only hunter in there and there's quite a bit of stuff for them to hide in. So uh, that's really gonna be the biggest problem is catching all the fry. They are growing quite well. I was on um, a business trip for a while and uh, I don't come down here as much as I, I should. So they're they're not super sized yet, but they're getting there. I'm, I've started feeding uh, more frequently to those guys. Look at this German white with the mask. That is cool. Sorry, something shiny, I had to look at it. All right, so the first step is taking this rack down. Specifically, uh, the, these top three tanks, so I can get rid of that, that black mold board. Uh, the, the boards on the bottom also have some mold on them, so I, I do want to get rid of those. Not only for my, my health, but also the, the health of uh, my son and my soon-to-be ex-wife, who will continue to be living here. Uh, also, there's mystery fry in this tank. I, I, I don't know what they are. Um, you can see there's a dead guppy on the bottom. Sorry uh, for filming that. I didn't even see it until now. I don't even know what it was. So, uh, anyway... We have some mystery fish in this tank as well. 
Uh, that mystery... <laughs> Do you guys remember what that was when it came? Because it came in the bag with the stir by. Some kind of touch, a silver tip touch, maybe. And then there's a guppy in there. I don't know what that guppy's for. So when we shut the, the tanks behind me down, this rack, which we call the Pleco rack, even though there's way more than Plecos on there now, um, we're going to move everything over to these tanks. I'm going to be slowly shutting these tanks down, too. I will probably shut this section down next. Um, just because it's easy. There's only three tanks here. Um, so yeah, and most probably everything is gonna go in the mutt tank. Um, that's just how it is. And then I'm going to shut, essentially I'm gonna shut the whole fish room down and start setting up in the new place because there is a basement. I do have to test the water over there because it is well. So we'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, that's the plan guys. Uh, I'm gonna close up now just Give me a second, stand by. Sorry about that, I didn't want to ramble while moving around and having you guys get dizzy, so I figured I'd let you look at my pretty face. Um, so essentially, it's probably gonna be another three to four weeks of, of Michael's Fish Room selling, and then I'm probably gonna uh, put everything out of stock on the website. Um, and then, you know, sometime after I move, start setting up the Fish Room. I'm gonna do it right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna try to film it but if I don't film it, that's just because I, it's just a pain in the butt to film when you're working. So we'll see. I, I'm really going to try because the content I'm sure is going to be interesting and it is a fresh start. So uh, most likely I'm going to set up the same rack system. I'm going to set up the same uh, auto water change system, the same air system. I love the aquarium co-op um, linear piston air pumps. I have two. The room that in the basement that uh, I'm going to be moving to is quite a bit smaller so i probably won't have 60 tanks i think i'm gonna have about 40 which means i probably can do with one of the aquarium co-op linear piston air pumps i have two now uh because the drops some of them are pretty deep like that 90 gallon you know it's far down and there's a lot of pressure down there so you need a lot more air pressure so you need i need a two and uh i have two so that that works out um a couple other things going on uh, I'm going to be at the Keystone Clash. I'm not vending, but uh, my boy Keith from KGEAquatics.com is going to be there. And Martin and Lisa from Super Cichlids are going to be there. They've both asked for me to come and hang out with them. And they're my friends, so I'm going to do that. As time gets closer, if you guys are looking for something and I have it available and, uh, you know, nothing's packed up or whatever, I will be happy to bring it uh, to save you shipping. But, um, yeah, we'll just we'll just see how that goes as time goes on. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I, I'm not planning on doing any other events. I don't particularly care for them because I'm not a people person. I know, look, I'm all happy and fuzzy and unicorns here, but the truth is I, I just, I'd rather just stay home and not see people. So yeah, I'm, I'm cranky. What, do, what are you gonna do, I'm old? Um, that said, I do like presenting at at a, a club. So if you run a club or you'd like me to speak at your club, tell your president to just reach out to me. I have a couple different programs I can do and I can even make them up if you're looking for something that I have knowledge of. So yeah, that's that. All right, folks, uh, sorry that I haven't been posting regularly. I'm gonna try to post at least once a week. I'd love to say I'm gonna promise, but you know, life gets in the way and so does my, my mental health, right? I mean, I went through a hard time. I went through a hard breakup. I went through a hard time. I'm really good mentally. I feel good physically. Uh, but a lot of that is from self-care, from not doing this or not caring about other stuff. Just being blatantly honest out there. Oh yeah, new tattoo. Let's see if you can see it. You can't really see it. It's, it's Lucas and Nico sitting down. Um, Here's the picture that it is. So yeah, just got it yesterday. So still healing, but it looks great. All right, folks. Uh, again, thank you to all those that have reached out to me. I've, I think I've answered everyone that I'm doing okay. Just life gets in the way. And uh, if you have any questions about anything, just, you know, shoot me an email or, or resp you know, respond here, comment. It's cool. I'll do my best to answer them. And that's that. Have a great day, folks. See you. Bye. Welcome back, fishy folks. Uh, before we get started uh, with my story, actually, that's not true. Um, the whole story is the whole thing because I'm an idiot. Stand by.